Joining us coming up, roses and Bahar Niramwala tells us why it's one of the hottest ingredients in the beauty biz right now, and you love Roses, look at your shirt. Oh my God, I love everything roses. Yeah, I dressed the part today too. Yes. I'm also wearing a lot of rose gold makeup today. I'm trying, I'm really trying. <laughs> so I wanted to start out with, um, a lot of stuff was coming across my desk that was rose oriented. And I thought, okay, well let's talk about the history of roses because roses have been in beauty as well as in some medicinal purposes for centuries. Right. So the ornamental rose or the uh, cultivated rose that we've come to know now, so the one that you might get on Valentine's Day from someone, mm -hmm. has actually been around since 500 BC. Wow. So very old. And there are species old, old, old. even older than that version. Okay. Uh, and it was found kind of in the Mediterranean and Persia and China. So when I say Persia, you're also like, what's that? Because it doesn't exist anymore. That's how old, right? right. Like that's how long ago it, the rose that we know uh, has been around. And it takes about 2,000 roses to create a single gram of essential oil, which means, oh yeah, my goodness. it is that is it's as expensive as like gold or saffron in terms of its weight and value. So if you ever question a rose product or a rose perfume in terms of its price, yes. that's why. Got it. It so takes a lot to get very there. precious. Oh, very much so. And I did want to make note, uh, just a little like, you know, nice uh, famous figure, Cleopatra, yes. used to strew, the queen of the now, the queen of half the world, used to strew flowers and roses in her uh, room when Mark Anthony would visit Ooh. because she thought then he would leave and smell roses and think of her. Talk about a marketing campaign. <laughs> right? All I did was cook my husband butter chicken and that seemed to work. <laughs> Every time he walks by an Indian restaurant, yeah, he'll think of me. It works. It works. Totally works. <laughs> okay, so wanted to start out with um, now talking about why roses. So people might, mm -hmm. yes, it's beautiful, it smells lovely, but why? So there are vitamins, there are minerals, there, there's some anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. antioxidant properties as well in roses. In fact, the rose hip, which grows on yes. certain varieties of roses, is one of the most potent plant sources of vitamin C in the world. So when we think vitamin C food, what do we think? Oranges. oranges. Automatically, right? Yeah. So half a cup of oranges is going to give you about 50 milligrams of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of rose hip is going to give you upwards of 6,000 milligrams of vitamin You're C. You're kidding me. Go for rose hip. And that's why, the exactly. Oils. And that's why it's been, in, like, people have been using it for so long because it's very powerful. So okay. going to first touch on a classic rose collection. This is from Erin Beauty. It is a really beautiful signature scent of theirs as well, the, this particular rose is. So there's a body wash. There's a beautiful multi-use mm. oil. My favorite is actually their hand and body cream and I use this on my it's on my nightstand so I put it on my elbows and my hands before I go to bed nice. because we focus here at nighttime yes but the rest of our body needs some care too and then I'm lullaby to that lovely scent right it's beautiful and you're layering it Exa which is a beautiful way to do keeps it keeps it going longer fragrance. absolutely absolutely our certified natural option this is from Walita it's a huge collection of wild rose oriented products so there's eye creams day creams night creams and one of my favorites is their pampering body and beauty oil okay it's a multi-use oil as well you can Pop this in your bath. If you really want to pull a Cleopatra, put it yeah. in your bath, put some milk in there too, and Ooh. languish in that. That's really going to moisturize and soothe your skin. Lovely. And this is a City Line sneak. This bottle isn't out until June. It's a new pump bottle, which wouldn't we all oh, want nice. our oils to come in a pump instead yes. of having to like get slippery and greasy, right? That's right. Very cool. Beautiful. So now our hair is going to join the bouquet of roses. And from La Coupe, this is our natural line. It's a Moroccan rose volume boosting uh, collection. Okay. So there's Moroccan rose in here, but there's also biotin. Biotin mm. is a natural uh, booster of volume. Yes. And there's coconut water in here. There's aloe vera. Smelling like a bouquet. So it's not okay. just about rose having to be it's also about on certain skin tones a rosy glow equals a oh, healthy look at glow that. right look at the color on that this has beeswax as well okay and it is aimed at a 60 plus woman and yeah. beeswax and uh when you're reaching that age you're losing density and moisture yes. beeswax is a humectant it brings moisture to the area and yeah. holds it in place so i say start at 50 why not absolutely i agree completely what have you got to lose? i just appreciate just someone now. speaking to someone who's 60 plus so we do all I. yeah when i get i'm still going to be putting on makeup and uh, skincare 100%. absolutely that's excellent and then small niche brands I wanted to point out lovely stuff from lush this is a Canadian brand called poetic blend it's much smaller but that one in the front that timeless oil yeah. that's packed with that rosehip oil which mm. if you use at nighttime super antioxidant super rich very important I actually use uh, um, rosehip seed oil at night in my routine it's the last thing I put on and I okay. wake up with happy looking skin so better which night is the than goal. morning would you say absolutely yes okay. because it is a thicker oil mm. and really cool I wanted to point out this is yeah. from a brand called Ecomat 
Okay. It is an organic, drinkable rose drop. It's made in Bulgaria, which is one of the big manufacturers of rose essential oil. They yes. grow a lot there and they manufacture a lot. So I have a little bit for us if you want to take a sip. You put like 10 or 15 of these drops in okay. your coffee, your tea, your water, and it's supposed to help hydrate from within. Oh, I like that but idea. But also, it kind of is, I'm telling you, anything rose-oriented, I'm it's a fan rosy. of, right? Isn't it? Yes, but it's really rosy natural. in a good way, because some people are weird about drinking flowers. Some, yes, very, it's something it's, that's too it's heavy. It's light. It is, and, it, and nice. it tastes like a real rose, right? It really does. Yeah. It's concentrated. Well, Bahar is sending you all home with La Coupe Moroccan Rose Volume Loving Shampoo. <laughs>